Hey again. So yesterday, I uploaded my first YouTube video ever. I've been waiting to do it for a really long time. I finally had an opportunity to join Tranny Star. This morning, I watched Krista's video. Turns out that they already filled the slots. So I guess I don't get to be part of the crew. And I was really sad about it. It was really disappointing to me. But instead of, like, moping about it, I thought that, well, you know, I don't need to be part of the group to post videos and to be part of the community, so I'll take my disappointment and use that as positive energy for making a new video. So here it goes. I want to talk about disappointments that I've faced in my transition. There are three big disappointments I want to talk about. Um, the first one is that I lost my significant other when I started my transition. And really the two of us knew that we'd been I'd been putting it off for a really long time. And because I knew that I was gonna lose this person if I did transition. And I tried everything to be happy with the way my life was and the way things were without living as a female. And in the end, it wasn't working. So I had to transition anyway, and we had to be apart. And even though it was really difficult and disappointing, and I wish that this person was open-minded enough to be with a transgendered woman, um, but that's not who, it's not who they are. And I can't, I can't give this person a hard time for, for being who they are, just like, you know, they can't give me a hard time for being who I am, right? It goes both ways. So that was a really disapp big, big disappointment for me to lose that person. Um, but I didn't lose my family, I didn't lose my friends, I didn't lose my job, so I've been pretty blessed in that regard. Um, and, you know, I still keep in touch with my ex, and we're still really good friends, so it, it turned out okay in the end. Um, and we both moved on. So, it still gets to me sometimes, but when I feel sad enough, I cry about it sometimes, and then I feel better. So the disappointment is definitely not the end of the world. The other disappointment, the next disappointment that I want to talk about is how long it's taken me to get to this point in my transition. Um, I started transitioning two years ago, and I have been living full-time for about six months now. So there was about a year delay in my transition going full-time because I moved to Denmark. If I'd stayed in Seattle, I probably would have been living full-time for about a year and a half by now. So things got postponed by about a year because I moved here. And that's really because the, uh, the system here for transgendered people is really terrible. Um, when I first was thinking about moving here, I was pretty excited because you know, I read about Christine Jorgensen and that you know, there's a socialized health care system and that they pay for hormone replacement therapy and if you qualify they pay for the genital replacement surgery or gender replacement surgery, GRS, SRS, whatever you want to call it. And um, I was like, cool, this could really work out for me, you know? But then I got here and reality became clear. And the reality is that, yeah, 40 years ago when Christine Jorgensen came here to Denmark and went back as Christine, that was really progressive, but that was 40 years ago. And the policies here and the health care here for trans people hasn't improved really at all in 40 years. So they're really behind the rest of the world and really behind the progressive parts of the world, like Seattle, where I moved from. So if I'd stayed, things would have gone a lot faster for me. And that's really disappointing to think about. Um, and I wish that it had gone differently. But I also appreciate the delay in some ways because it really gave me an extra year to kind of be a transvestite, not be living full time, thinking about my life at that stage. Like, is this enough? Still trying to figure things out. Like, is this, you know, do I want to live every day as a female or can I do this just on the weekends? Like, what do I need? And, you know, yeah, after a year, of being a transvestite, I was like, this isn't enough. I'm not happy. I need to live full time, or at least see what it's like. So then if I don't like that, I can stop, 
well, guess what? Of course, I enjoy living full time every day and needed to do it. But I don't think that I would be quite so self confident about my transition in that regard if I hadn't been forced to kind of wait and think about things and take that time, you know? So, yeah, again, annoying, disappointing, but not the end of the world. I'm still pretty young, so it's not that big of a deal to transition one year later than I wanted to. Now, if it were like two or three or five years, then yeah, that's, that's some, you know, a problem in that I probably would not have been able to stay here, but things worked out for me, luckily. Um, so the last, the last kind of thing that disappoints me in my transition is, I guess, expectations, related to expectations. You know, before I transitioned, and the idea of actually living as a woman was still a fantasy to me. I always had this kind of idea that I might wake up one day and just magically have turned into a woman, and just look in the mirror and see this beautiful face that I didn't recognize and have this gorgeous body that just wasn't mine. Was, you know, this other person's. Um, and that's obviously not the reality. You know, it took me a long time after I started my transition to, to naturally see a woman in the mirror when I look at it. But I do now. And even even though I'm very happy with the way my transition's going, it still is disappointing to kind of, well, you know, I'll see some woman and be like, she's really pretty. She's way prettier than I am. I wish I were that pretty. Or, you know, she's got a fabulous body. I wish I had her body. Or, you know, I, I guess maybe it's jealousy or just maybe I wanted something that was completely unrealistic in the first place. But, you know, it it gets me down sometimes, and I I am who I am, and I'm very happy with myself, and sometimes my flaws bother me more than other times, but I'm not this perfect woman that I'd always fantasized about. And that's a really harsh reality, and it's a really big disappointment, but you know, it's way better than the alternative. You know, if, if I were to go back and to, to reverse my transition and go back to living as a guy, I would be completely miserable. I'm just sure of it. I mean, I don't even really think about reversing my transition. I'm so happy with, with the way my life is now. So, you know, all these big disappointments, like the Tranny Star Galactica disappointment, none of them are the end of the world. You know, everyone faces disappointment, and everyone experiences disappointment in their transition. And it's just, you know, what do you take away from it? And I try to think about, what am I going to take away from this? Maybe I have to reflect about it. Maybe I have to reflect on it after it's happened. Because I can't perfectly analyze everything while I'm still feeling shitty about it. But I feel like no matter how bad it gets sometimes, it's not the end of the world. And so, you know, keep your chin up. I try to keep my chin up and I try to enjoy it try to enjoy life and I try to enjoy living the way I do now and I try to enjoy my cats and everything that I do have all the blessings I do have so I guess that's all for my video about disappointments hopefully it's been a little bit inspiring or at least pretty entertaining I'll see you next time